First up, the firefight. Once again, nearly two weeks in the spring fire now mostly contained. That number has risen to 77% contained tonight. Some slight growth standing now at just under 108,000 acres. Some subdivisions there repopulated with their property owners, while others still don't know what they'll return home to. News 5 Sam Kramer talking with both Incident Command and the community today. He is live in Walsenburg tonight. Sam. Yeah, Rob Elizabeth, those new numbers on containment and size not given in tonight's public meeting in Walsenburg. News 5 obtained those within the last half hour, but really tonight, Team Blue did offer some insights on the still uncontained areas burning within the North Spring fire. It's good news for some, while others still don't know what they will turn to. At first, Cheryl Rogers says it was frightening seeing flames from the spring fire charge toward her home in Navajo Ranch. Everyone's blood pressure, I think, was up. <laughs> yeah. Because it was coming. The fire was coming. We could see the flames coming over the hills. That anxiety has since lifted when she was allowed to return home Saturday. We were very blessed that we did have a home to go back to. But others aren't so lucky. Firefighters have made tremendous progress on the spring fire as a whole, while the northwest flank of the North Spring Fire remains troublesome. That's where Kante and his wife have called home for 12 years. It's just very sad for these people because it, it's such a beautiful area. We've loved it here. I mean, and we love to live in the woods, but we knew that someday this might happen. Yeah. The Hayes live in Paradise Acres, where the North Spring Fire has been most active in recent days. They still don't know if their house is still standing. It's frustrating because it's taken so long to find out, but we found out that that was because of how hot it was up there. And it's a challenging spot for firefighters to work in safely, according to Operations Section Chief Trainee Chris Zoller. He says even accessing the flames has been tough. If something would happen to them, it would be equally difficult to get them back out. So we're really, really cautious in going in there. Still, engine teams doing all they can to protect homes along the active front, hoping a predicted change in weather will help them fully contain the North Spring fire. Now that change in weather is expected to bring with it more cloud cover, increased humidity, even a good chance for rain altogether. That would make it harder for the available fuels to burn and a lot easier for the firefighters to work directly on the flames. Always watching out for you, Southern Colorado, Sam Kramer, News 5.